Hey Leo, it's Michelle with Angel Souls and this is your April 2014 Angel Oracle Card Reading. I am using the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and I want to announce also, yes I do personal readings and you can get one of those by visiting my website and I'll have the link down below. So let's see what's going on for you for April. Okay, first card up is Clear Cognizance. Okay, it's Archangel Orion. He says, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. This is all about, um, they're saying tapping into whatever abilities that you have. Leos, you're going to have, you have a special assignment this month from the angels. They want you to take all that charm and all that beauty, um, <laughs> your regalness, okay? And they want you to put it to good use. So tap into your gifts and get ready to sort of heal with your very presence, okay? Uh, the world needs you to shine your light out. And you're always about that, right? You know, um, getting your light out there and your, your healing energy. But um, this is, you know, on a personal level, whatever you're dealing with, you already know the answer to it, okay? So trust your inner guidance. Tap back into that, okay? And this is about you getting back in touch with you and stop doubting yourself. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, they're saying a lot of you have been doubting the guidance that has been coming to you. So they're letting you know that it's safe to open up. So long as you're staying clear and you're shielding yourself, okay, then you can trust your guidance. Um, sometimes what people do is they, they open up spiritually, they don't shield themselves, and then you know, fourth dimensional beings who aren't much smarter than most human beings here in the physical are bopping in here and be like, hey, what's up? Hey, here's a message for you. And it's not the message. It's not from the angels. Okay. <laughs> so just be careful of that. And you can avoid that just by um, being careful, making sure you set up your space, make sure you set up uh, through meditation and ask the angels to come in and protect you. Okay. Next card up we have, remember who you are. Okay. And it's Michael. And he says, you have, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay. So there might be some things that kind of batter your ego a little bit this month. Okay. Um, whatever that is, it might be someone tearing you down because of your spirituality and because of your gifts and you're being a little bit more open about them. It could also be, um, let me just tune in here. He's coming in here. Stand in your power. Yeah, again, you guys are being called to action this month. It's kind of cool. You know, you're, you're kind of uh, being called up to be spirit warriors. And uh, and also just in other things in your life. Remember who you are. Don't let anybody tear you down. Um, don't let anybody control you, which is not a trait for you. But some of you out there, I mean, of course, you know, it's like a generic. You got to look at all the aspects in a chart. But um, yeah, don't let anybody uh, diminish what you have to say, the knowledge that you have. And this doesn't mean that you're right all the time, okay? But remember who you are. Remember you have an opinion. Remember you have a perspective, okay? And that de deserves to be respected, all right? So make sure you're getting that this month. Yeah, they're saying um, with the energies around, a lot of people might be kind of uh, tumbling over one another. So that would be where you want to stand in your power and stand in your integrity, be compassionate and loving, but stand in your integrity, okay? Spiritual understanding. It's Archangel Razio, and he says, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. There you go, okay? You're getting help. And Razio, if, if you'll let him, if you invite him in, he'll take your hand and make you his apprentice. Absolutely. And you want to learn some funky stuff? He'll teach you some funky stuff, okay? It just depends on where you are in your spiritual growth and if this is something that you want for yourself. If so, you know, they're, they're going to help you out with whatever you need to get you on your path. But if you want a little bit more, you want to be kind of um, enlightened, okay? You can do an Archangel Raziel meditation right before you go to sleep. Make sure if you're going to do this that you do, in fact, have a dream journal ready to go in the morning. Ask him to give you uh, some more downloads while you sleep. And then ask him to help you remember it in the morning so that you can record it. Okay? Got it. time for one more card. I'm doing kind of short videos this month. Quick to the point. Why not? Counselor. This is, this is what you're going to be this month. Okay? This is part of the uh, assignment. 
This is Azrael, okay? And he says, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. This is what we were talking about at the top of the reading, what you're going to be kind of called to do. You're going to be kind of called to help people get through their transformations. It's like you're on assignment from Azrael, okay? So transformation, sort of death and rebirth. There is no such thing as death, but you're going to be the one that comes in when somebody has something going down big in their life. You're going to come in and say, I see the wisdom in this. This is why that happened. Okay. So this is how you have to look at it. This is how you have to sort of move on. Um, this is also you sharing your, <laughs> your esoteric knowledge that Rosio is going to be giving you and, um, learning how to educate others. Now, you can do that in a very formal way um, by like maybe even holding a seminar or something like that, or it can be in a more informal way where you just sort of lead by example. Okay? Let me tune in here. They're pulling me back. What do you guys want me to see? Ah. Okay. Well, if you put all these cards together... Some of you are being a little stubborn about opening up to your gifts, and that's fine. You're still very loved, of course. But April's going to be a time, like, it's needed. Open it up. Help others, okay? Um, they're asking you to remember your soul. This came up for another sign as well. Um, getting back in touch with that um, that power, okay? That power, that, that higher self. Hmm? They're saying let it, letting your your soul sort of be lighted again and come to the surface of you, and that helps radiate out your knowledge, your love, the peace that's within you. Okay, you guys have like this is pretty cool. None of the other signs really got like a special assignment this month, so um, yeah, that's very very interesting. So good luck with that. You guys, I have to report back and let me know how it goes. <laughs> I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care. Bye bye.